Guys, we're here at Dad's. Finally getting to help him a little bit on the round baler. He's done most of this himself, actually. Of course, the belts were pretty easy to get off. I saw the pile of those the other day. We did get the new belts from Shoop. Got new uh, cam follower bearings for the pickup reel. He's already got those installed. Got the, uh, the vulcanized belt drive roller off. That's the one that goes up there on the top. You can see where it's charred up there, where it's been burnt. So we're getting that new, that roller new, and both bearings new. And we're replacing, we're gonna replace the bearings on this roller here. We're also, already took this roller here off. It's down here. Got those bearings out, we're gonna replace the bearings on that one. We're gonna replace the bearings on this roller, this roller, and there might be one more here. Everything else is pretty good shape. Um, like I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But right now, we're going to loosen. This is the tensioner bar. I don't know what you call it. Tensioner rollers here. To get to those, we're going to try to take the springs loose, take the hydraulic tensioning loose, and rotate them up. There's holes in the side of the chamber here that I think will line up with bolts to pull that off. That's our plan. Looking like we got some more rain coming through. We've had quite a bit of rain here lately. I mean, nothing like flooding or anything like that, but it's perfect timing though. It's been really dry. We're getting some moisture in. That's gonna help the hay crop. Uh, we're ready to just cut a couple fields of second cutting. Still have one field that dad's of first cutting. Um, about ready to start working on the neighbor's ground. I'm gonna start working it up. Getting some sprinkles and not on my ice cream. Definitely had some rain here. Well, that we worked on the round baler a little bit. Got dark, didn't get a whole lot of footage of that, but we took some rollers off. I'll include the part numbers. Um, I'll see if I can show you the rollers I'm talking about here, as well as the bearings that I'm talking about on those rollers. So there's multiple bearings. I'm gonna show you them right here on the tailgate of my truck and what, what I'm gonna do. So there's two bearings here. These came out of the same roller. Um, these are not just bearings. So you can see here, I can't turn this bearing because it's locked up, that's why I'm changing it. But <clears throat> there's two separate pieces here. You got your bearing, and the bearing, obviously it's a ball bearing, contains your inner race, and of course your balls are behind this seal, and then your outer race. And then you have this piece of machined cast, a bearing housing, okay? So New Holland, uh, there's three rollers they use this same bearing on. Two of them require this housing, this bearing housing here, one is a smaller diameter and the bearing just goes directly in that. So they actually offer this as a new Holland part number, just the bearing. And they offer this here as an assembly part number. Um, I can't remember the price, but I know this is the, the assembly part number is like double the price of just the bearing. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take, take it, this to the press and we're gonna see if we can press this bearing out of this. And then we're gonna get new bearings and try to press them into this. And that's gonna save us quite a bit of money. Uh, these are about 150 bucks, 140, 150 for the assembly. And we're gonna be doing four of these total. And then two of just the bare bearings. So we're gonna try the four of these. We're gonna try to press all of them out and put, just put the, buy the bearing and replace the bearing. Reuse this piece here. Here at Dad's. He cleaned this bay of the barn out. Uh, you can see, this is where my, some of my first cutting alfalfa is. This is where some of that last hay that we bailed on him is. And uh, that last little bit that was had gotten a little bit of rain on it and was still a little bit wet when we bailed it, we're going to put it in here. This one he's going to use to feed to his cows. Should be able to fit it all in this bay very easily. We're over at my wife's 
grandma's place. I'm gonna grab some pallets to take to my dad's with me. And we're gonna move some more of that hay into the old barn. Um, we've got some pallets there, but while I'm up this way, coming, coming back from work, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some pallets in here. We got pallets loaded. I got 10. There's 10 left in there. Uh, so I got one more trip, but that'll be good. I'll take these to dads. All right, we're gonna move the tractor and stacker, four wheeler, and the Kubota out of the way. Get back in here. And we're gonna move these two stacks over into the old barn. That'll be a pain here where it's kind of falling over, but it's all right, we'll get it. And this stuff here, we're gonna keep here, I think, just to kind of keep it separated. bail out of the way and we'll start with this one here we'll move this stack and then we'll move this one because those technically are off of different fields but they are the same hay now we get the skid steer oh no it won't start don't worry i fixed it on the mechanic <laughs> My biggest fear is getting this thing into the side of this building when I'm not really paying attention. Getting too high or something like that. Maybe since I'm thinking about it, that won't happen. Since I'm conscious of it, but we'll see. Let's move some hay. stack we're gonna move dad's back in the stacker in this one here you gotta be careful with the hoop because that rack up there can hang if you get too close to the side but it's pretty good really you get fairly close dad's pulling a four-wheeler in i'll show you our stacking job here bear in mind we're new at this grapple thing here it is we have limited space keep that in mind but i think it's turning out okay um this here is not actually placed. I just set some loose bales up here. We're gonna stack up and behind this brace by hand because we can't get up there, obviously. These braces really kind of cramp your style. We've moved them up. They were actually down here where this board is and we moved them up to here because that just takes, takes up so much space. So uh, anyways, per tier, there's 20 bales. And so I think this is three tiers deep. So there's 60 bales, 20, yeah, 60 bales on each of these layers here uh, at that point. And we can go another, I know a full and probably won't be able to fit two, two more full ones, but another full one will probably give us three foot clearance around the door, which is okay. And then once we get out here, it'll, it will increase our capacity because we'll go, be able to go a lot higher. Once we get out past those braces, I won't have to worry about that. Things will go faster. And then, of course, we got... This is normally where the round baler goes, but we have the square baler in here right now since we're working on the round baler. Uh, that there's the hay that's a little bit greener. That's going to be cattle hay for ourselves. But this... Uh, being able to turn that grapple is really going to help. But th those bales are stacking pretty good for on edge. We're not real fans of stacking on edge, but uh, it's working. So once we get things figured out, we'll be a lot more efficient. We can do 
more bales in a day and all that good stuff of our capacity. That's the plan. Also, by the way, I don't know if I gave you guys an update on what we actually found. We put that lift pump, primer pump, whatever you want to call it, on the M125X. Dad said it didn't work because it wouldn't start. Well, I told him it's been starting, so that's probably a different problem. We just had some air, it was air locked, and we, you know, we, we had primed it, but still didn't have all the air out apparently. But once it started, we haven't had any issues with it. Now we haven't put a whole bunch of hours on it, but we did round bale until it caught on fire. We've cut, we've raked, square baled, you know. So the round bale is the biggest load it's had. But uh, it definitely would have had a problem the way it was. It had a problem since. So the lift pump was the problem. So just thought I'd let you guys know. So this is it for today. I'll catch up with you guys sometime well it's rained pretty well all day and it's been I mean it's come a couple toad stranglers for sure we'll, uh, get together and then we're take that back to the box good boy just got a package I wonder what this package could be. Let's see. Huh. What is this? Oh, look here. Oh, look at that. Franklin County Forge. Alright guys. Heading over to Dad's. I'm gonna take some of these shucks with me, I forgot. Okay, slow those up. All right. Now we're going. Whew. No, guys, I don't, uh, I didn't shave, I'm not growing my hair, I didn't get new glasses. But you may notice here, I don't know if, yeah, and you may notice here. And, Pickle, can you show him your shirt? Uh, Seatbelt's kind of in the way, but Pickle's got a shirt on too. We're excited to announce that we do have some merchandise. We do have a store online and available. Right now, there's about 155 items for sale, uh, different types of shirts. And of those items, there's multiple different colors to choose from and everything there's anything from hats different types of hats this is a fitted hat this is actually one of the only fitted hats i've ever actually liked because it actually fits correctly uh, they have long sleeve shirts short sleeve shirts hoodies uh, zipper hoodies all kinds of stuff bags duffel bags backpacks computer bags i don't expect you guys to be interested in it but i just thought i'd throw it out there if you guys want something help yourself to it if not you're not gonna hurt my feelings any by not buying it. All right, guys, we're gonna move the rest of this hay, and then we're gonna take those trucks back, friends of the cows. Kill my mosquito here. Let's roll. <laughs> All right, pickle. What are we gonna do? Where um, are we going? Um, we are gonna go feed the cows some corn to. Yeah, corn shucks. Good girl. She's excited to feed the cows, that's for sure. She's a cow girl. Let's roll. Suit cow. Oh, here they come, Pickle. Nice little treat. Those last few stacks moved into the old barn. We're gonna back that stack of wagon back up in here. And I got that wagon out there that needs to be unloaded. We may end up doing that. Or if dad don't feel like messing with it, then we'll just kind of take it easy here. Uh, 
we'll come over and do it another day.